This is Twit. Give us the 30,000 foot view. When, what problem am I trying to solve when I'm reaching for key cloak? So the, well, the reason why we started the project was because we found that you had two options for securing uh, your applications and services, right? So you had the heavyweight uh, IDP solutions like Fortruck, uh, which is can be daunting for people to get started with. Or you had, you know, your build yourself thing from using frameworks and libraries. So, you know, we wanted to have something that was easy to use, that was application focused, that would also fulfill some of the uh, use cases that Fortro can can do. So that that is what we're trying to do, is to make security easy for application developers. And so how, how long has uh, Keycloak been around? We started in 2013. It actually started with two separate prototypes initially. Uh, one was doing, so I was doing a prototype on focusing on on making the you know software as a service kind of approach, well, well called security as a service, where you had this out of the box experience for application developers rather than to use the frameworks. And then another guy was doing a, a more of a framework for, for REST APIs, Java-based REST APIs. And we joined the two together in early January, I think, and we had our first release later on in 2014. Okay, and and so, what, wasn't, I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of other players in this space. What, what makes Keycloak unique? I don't think there is that many I, that, that has that same angle that we have uh, with being application developer focused and, um, you know, and then other things that we, we try to avoid is to avoid feature creep. And we we carefully selected that we want to choose, you know, OpenID Connect and SAML and not support other protocols, legacy protocols. Um, and we have, you know, extension options for those that want to do it, but we don't, we're not going to put those into the code base to prevent the code base from being bloated and for, for having a, a sleek distribution that works for folks. Is this, then, uh, is this code? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, we obviously, you know, we're, we're a true open source project, right? We accept lots and lots of contribution from the community and we're always open to talk to, to people. And uh, so let's say I already have an existing or sort of, uh, I'm, I'm maintaining my own internal uh, username and password hash table in my uh, web application. Um, can I just use the part of Keycloak that lets somebody also log in with Google and maintain a Google ID in my login tables? No. So <laughs> you integrate with it through OpenID Connect, right? So you're, you're basically moving your whole authentication to Keycloak. Um, you can, however, you can you can include your users from your existing database. Uh, we have support for you to plug in your own custom user stores. We can read users from LDAP, or we can read read users from your custom uh, relational database or wherever you've stored your users. 